Ashley Bolden and I am an exhibition assistant at the Philadelphia Museum of Art in the Department of European Painting. Today we are seeing the exhibition Discovering the Impressionists, Paul Durandorel and the New Painting, an exhibition in Philadelphia. featured in this exhibition are sort of all of the, the sort of great impressionists, Monet, Renoir, Degas, Cassatt, Cicely, and Pizarro, as well as Manet and Cezanne. follows a series of key moments in the history of the Durandrell Gallery, beginning in 1865 when Paul Durandrell inherits the gallery from his father, through to the early 1870s when Durandrell discovers Monet and Pizarro in London, and then meets Renoir, Degas, and Cicely, as well as other Impressionist artists in, in Paris. The exhibition then continues through the 1880s when Duran Durrell staged a series of monographic or solo exhibitions for his Impressionist artists and then continues through sort of the later 1880s and early 1890s when Duran Durrell established a branch in, the, in America. The exhibition follows through to London to 1905 when Duran Durrell held an immense exhibition of 315 paintings in London. Renoir had painted for his monographic exhibition in Durand Rell's gallery in 1883. These two were always meant to be a, a, a pair. 
to be a pendant. You get a nice sense of the differences between the sort of formality of the, of the city versus the informality of, of the country. And you, there are lots of comparisons, of delightful comparisons that you can make. But Durand Rao buys the paintings back and then places them in his private apartment. So as you move a couple galleries down, you will see these paintings again in a photo blow up of his, of his apartment. So they, they are thing, they're, they're clearly works that he um, identifies with. He sends them to New York as sort of prime examples of his stock, but things that he uh, will then place in his own home and, and live with. Um, includes with the family apartment on the Rue de Rome in Paris. What's that? Thank you.